Matthew 24 30-51 30 And then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of the sky with power and great glory. 31 And he will send forth his angels with a great trumpet and they will gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of the sky to the other. To explain how the kingdom of heaven is like a fig tree, which is Matthew 24 32-35, Mark 13 28-32 and Luke 21 27 I had to add how Jesus tells of coming in the clouds, all eyes see him and collection of the elect. The second coming of Christ, is a harvest time and all who accept the Lord as Savior are taken away from this sinful world of all time, from all earth's history, the quick and the dead as Scripture says. 1 Peter 4 5 Who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead. 6 For for this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God in the Spirit. All three gospels speak of Jesus coming in the clouds and all seeing him. Does that mean all humanity sees the Lord Jesus descending from heaven? The Word of God clearly states about who can see God and who can't, and this is found in the Old Testament. Exodus 33 20-22 But he said, You cannot see my face, for no man can see me and live. 21 Then the Lord said, Behold, there is a place by me, and you shall stand there on the rock, 22 And it will come about, while my glory is passing by that I will put you in the cleft of the rock and cover you with my hand until I have passed by. If no man can see God and live, how can all see him descending and there be a gathering of the elect and mankind to survive to witness this event? The Apostle Paul writing tells how anyone can see the Lord and still be alive. He says there is resurrection of bodies and they change from the earthly bodies they were buried in are raised in bodies of spirit and the Lord plainly said flesh cannot look at him and live. So a transformation happens as Jesus descends and harvesting of spiritual bodies happens. 1 Corinthians 15 42 It is the same way with the resurrection of the dead. Our earthly bodies are planted in the ground when we die, but they will be raised to live forever. 43 Our bodies are buried in brokenness, but they will be raised in glory. They are buried in weakness, but they will be raised in strength. 44 They are buried as natural human bodies, but they will be raised as spiritual bodies. For just as there are natural bodies, there are also spiritual bodies. If there are any eyes seeing the Lord coming down from heaven on clouds then it is the eyes of those in spiritual heavenly bodies, cause those in earthly bodies will be dead cause the sight of the Lord and all His glory will put them to death. So if there is gathering of the elect and the angels of the Lord are sent to get them, no need to get the dead, cause the earth is their tomb for some time until the time of them being told they are guilty of not as charge of refusing redemption that was freely available but they simply say, no thank I will do what is right in my own eyes. God bless you all, the redeeming Christ loves you and so do I Samuel. Revelation 25-6 The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were completed. This is the first resurrection. 6 Blessed and holy is the one who has a part in the first resurrection, over these the second death has no power but they will be priests of God and of Christ and will reign with Him for a thousand years.